race number six coming at you live at kite foil event number two seabreeze invitational here in long beach california just south of los angeles so we are we've launched off the beach we are going into race number six of the day uh and race number six here of this event number two is kiters line up again breezier afternoon session of three races looking into the 20s most guys on 11 meter kites couple on 13s maybe but boom we're off the start line looks like all clear definitely all clear signal from the start boat there as we get off and racing so winning the boat again is evan heffernan absolutely dominant off that boat end he's able to execute when it counts but so far we've seen him struggling a bit with the pace there and as you can see his kite's just a bit wobbly i'm not sure if he's trying to do some pumping there or what going into his tack but he's not quite able to hang with those faster guys it looks like nico landauer in that white jersey with the gray kite just below him and current event leader getting four out of five race bullets uh marcus edegren on the yellow kite aptly earned uh that yellow color and wearing the yellow sleeve for today again the kites don't necessarily mean uh the 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 position they're in but we do have sleeves that do so yellow sleeve is is first place that's marcus edegren on the yellow kite second place into this afternoon session is uh noah runciman and uh third place rounding out your podium currently in this event is hantos Villegas. and actually marcus edegren and hantos have done some training together before so it's interesting to see those two working together and proving they can both podium so far we'll see if they can hold it going into more of this race with leaders tacking off so that's uh uh, that was Nico Landauer tacking off first, probably not really shaved, I would say, by by Marcus, but but nonetheless tacking off as this left hand has tended to pay so far. It seems to be fairly not quite a fully one sided racetrack, but definitely if you can be on the left, that that tends to help. But it's definitely boat speed that is king today as we come over across the course towards course left with Will Sierk screaming up wind on that gray and green kite, uh, able to whip out some really nice boat speed today on his upwinds but struggling a bit more on his downwinds so we'll see what he's able to patch together here if he's not quite in it at the top he's tended to fall back we'll see what happens to him but it looks as though on the orange kite that looks to be uh that is noah runciman it, arguably almost easily in first place here unless a boat comes across from the right leading but Noah Runciman on the orange kite and Hantos Villegas coming across uh, tailing this pack on the left but you can see he's hitched into a bit of a lift here and he's actually starting to gain on those leaders uh, with Neil Marcinelli there on the blue kite just to his leeward uh, and just a little behind so he's hot hot press coming into this windward mark as we go down onto the water and see these guys enter in to mark number one uh, they have a two-lap race here so we'll see what continues to pan out as uh, Marcus Edegren goes for the tack but it is Noah Runciman fairly easy in the lead and Marcus goes down oh but he's able to save it so just clipped a wave there we'll see if he can get up and over the mark he's pumping can he make it Marcus Edegren gets up and over the top of the mark and followed by Will Sear in third uh, Nico uh, Lindauer in uh, or Landauer sorry in fourth uh, followed by uh, sorry that was uh, I believe Evan Heffernan they're rounding right in front of you. So he actually got beat out uh, by Neil Marcinelli coming around that mark. And on the purple kite here is young gun Ryan Satterberg, only 16 years old and able to press right into this top group already. So we'll definitely look to see more of him as we continue on. We'll have to get an interview with him, how he's gotten started in in this awesome sport and how he's going with it because he is absolutely right up there right nipping at the heels of these leaders and it's absolutely amazing to see him here at that young age already so going back to our leader right now this is noah runciman we'll see if he can hang on on this downwind but right behind him he's come out of nowhere this event we didn't we didn't have him up at the delta pro in sherman island he wasn't able to attend but now that he's back he's he's been on fire this event he's currently sitting in second place wearing the silver sleeve wearing the blue sleeve um, notifying us of that right now into this afternoon series of three races so we'll have races five six and seven we're on race six right now first downwind and it's noah runciman uh 
uh, leading out this race. But again, Marcus Edegren hot on his heels in that yellow kite, yellow sleeve you can see on his arm uh, as they come downwind here, uh, followed by Hantos Villegas, both training partners, Marcos and Hantos, coming in into this leeward mark. So we'll see if they're able to hunt down Noah. They're definitely gaining every second. Noah, not with the best rounding there, but again, Marcus clips some water here. He's had some issues with that today, but nonetheless, he is leading the event, so clearly it's working. He's able to push harder than anyone else. He's had some some pretty gnarly wipeouts from it before, but we'll see what he's able to put together here. He's working a bit of a high mode here. He's definitely got his kite well clear cover wise on Noah who's leading out uh, we'll see we actually saw him roll someone in another race so we'll see if he's able to do that the other guys looks like they were following out of this mark so right now just following this pack of top three these are your leaders in this race uh, this is Noah Runciman going for the tack Marcus Edegren smart move just goes for a clean duck there knows he can come back later on and stay in this fight with Hantos Villegas going out right so we'll see what happens. The two training partners on the right, Marcus and Hantos in the yellow and orange, but on the bottom of your screen here, coming across the four screen is Noah Runciman as they cruise upwind and those jet skiers in the background. We'll see if there's any wake wash coming off of them that anyone has to clip, but it looked as though Marcus and Hantos were cruising up that right-hand side pretty hard. So we'll see if Noah is able to hold something on here. The left has tended to pay, as you can see him check over his shoulder once there. Uh, as we as we come out, there, the, there we find him again on the drone sorry uh um we have our drone pilot working hard on this um i'm just watching the screen and and talking to it but noah runciman coming out left we have pl seen plenty of pressure on the left where they're able to gain but uh unfortunately not able to uh necessarily it's not necessarily everything and it looks like as though he, he might have hit some weeds there he clipped through a kelp patch but noah runciman going for the tack back onto port and in the sun across on the other side again hard to see coming across your screen yellow kite marcus edegren coming in on starboard followed by orange kite hantos Villegas. they're both training partners they've been working hard together and that's arguably I mean, almost definitely what's what's made them so tight at this event and able to just pull away from the other guys definitely after working a lot on their downwinds just kind of, on kind of some of our data we've collected. These guys have actually done more training than anyone else since, uh, since the Delta Pro event, and they still say it's not enough. Uh, so that's interesting. Coming as we come down onto the water, getting this camera balance here, and we're going up into this win, and it is, again... Marcus Edegren coming across in the one. So he's in it again at the top. Will he be able to pull something out on the downwind? And now it's Hantos Villegas. So the right did tend to pay a little there, which is interesting. It's not all a left-hand game. It's not just a one-sided racetrack here in Long Beach. It comes down to the boat speed, but you have to be able to keep your head at least a little bit outside of the boat. Back down on the water there, we have Neil Marcinelli cruising in, bib number five as he comes in. This is the battle for fourth place. Neil Marcinelli on the blue kite, gray and green, Will Sear as they round, and it's a battle for fourth place, trying to get as close as they can or stay in touch of that podium. And again, we have a battle for sixth place here even. Nico Landauer on the gray kite in that white jersey and evan heffernan on the blue kite evan just trying to stay within points but let's cut back to the leaders here see how we're doing and again it's marcus edegren we don't know how he's able to pull out this speed but he has been able to find a, a league of his own on these downwinds and he is just pulling away from people like it's his job and he's able to just extend these leads. He's just in it at the windward bark, and he's able to pull out some massive speed differentials on these downwinds. As, as you can see, even his training partner behind can't seem to hang up with them as he hits a bit of a wave patch. But they go for the jibe. I think Hantos there on the orange kite in second place now. Um, able, uh, it is a bit of a battle. And, and again, these are your top three leaders on the leaderboard coming into this afternoon. Although one of them right now is out of position. So it's Hantos in currently sitting in three on the leaderboard, but two in this race. So looking to gain something here and even pick up a point on Noah Runciman, who has dropped back to third place after that upwind. It looked as though he was, again, he split a bit from the other two, let the two guys get out to the right-hand side. And unfortunately for him, there was a bit of variety. So as we come down into this leeward mark, it'll be interesting to see what happens. And Marcus just standing up on this downwind, um, able to still just pull away from these guys. Or it looks as though they might be gaining a little now, but he's able nonetheless to make this leeward mark and come in 
Uh, so long as he can sustain this across the finish line, uh, it is um, uh, Marcus Edegren, sorry, in the lead, followed by Hantos Villegas. So these two training partners proving to the, the rest of the fleet that they can whip it out uh, on these downwinds and generate some massive speed differentials no one can seem to hang with, including uh, Noah Runsom in there uh, coming in close behind them in race number six rounding out your top three.